in surgery. Dr. Sonu Goel is uh, running a very big center in uh, Jaipur, Anandai Hospital. And uh, he's, the, uh, he's the member scientific committee of uh, All India Ophthalmological Society. He's done a great job in the wet lab area. So very good afternoon. And uh, thank you, Dr. Namrata, ma'am, for those kind words. And uh, I think uh, Dr. Amar Agarwal is here. And uh, he has the largest experience for the smile, but still the oops. We all know that uh, SMILE is a single step, all femtosecond laser procedure. It's a minimal uh, laser vision correction, involving basically four key areas, the lenticule cut, the lenticule side cut, the flap cut, and the flap side cut. So despite all the spherical patient interface, the unique corneal suction, less tissue compression, automated vacuum system, the short suction time, minimal IOP, no vision loss during suction, still, the biggest bug in SMILE is the suction loss. And I think that's the way the industry is moving from Visumax 500 to Visumax 800, cutting the time from 26 seconds to 8 seconds to take care of this biggest nuance. So let's see what I have to deliver here. So just watch. So this patient of mine suddenly realized that Dr. Mohan Rajan is in the OT and he started dancing. Look at his dance. Just watch carefully. Now these are those patients who are, you know, hypercritical, you know, type A personality. You have to be very, very careful. Just see the dance. All throughout are just praying crossed fingers, God, I don't lose suction, don't lose suction. Yes, I was able to go walk in through. The rest of the procedure is quite simple, but yes, had it been a suction loss, you always have to be on vigil at what step you have that suction loss. So I'll be just running through these oops and where your foot moves out of the foot pedal is very, very critical. So just watch. So this patient, again, an anxious, though I'm able to carry off the first eye successfully, but watch. So nothing great about this. You separate under the cap, lenticule, carefully. I leave a tag on the left, uh, do a gentle hydro expression. And this says, now watch the second eye. This patient, now despite having the first eye, I start losing vacuum, but still, I don't lift off my foot pedal here, and I just ensure that I have the side cut done. So this side cut would help me to re the patient and take him back and instead of converting to a flap, I was able back to convert to a lenticule. Now watch carefully. Again, the patient still is very uncooperative, but successfully I'm able to make out. And yes, now the important part is the dissection on the right side, because this side cut on the right side hasn't been complete. So I have to be very, very careful here when I'm dissecting. So two planes I've separated. I go underneath the cap. Now, do a gentle separation on the left, but I am on the right side. These are the attachments. Gently, I can break them. Go underneath the lenticule. Go on the left. I keep a tag here, which will help me support the dissection on the right side. And very gently, I have to separate and just watch. And then I can just, you know, peel this off. And very carefully, I trim and do a lenticular excess. Now, this is what is called the smile. You see, watch, and this is the smiley. So I stop here because I just want to redock, avoid the black spot, and I start purposefully, redock, and then successfully I'm able to manage this patient. Yet another patient, and uh, this patient just watch carefully, a large oval pupil, and there is this cyst with some element of uveal tissue addition and the patient is quite, quite convinced and committed for a smile surgery. So optic zone is very important. If you see carefully, 6.4 is that what we've taken to cover. And 
every time that I am taking, I have an eye on the lower area where I just see that I don't lose the suction. Lucky I am, I'm not able to, you know, lose suction and I'm able to convert. And very carefully with the slit lamp, I just see whether the cyst hasn't ruptured or there is no flattening of this area. So gently, I'm able to dissect. And this patient can be then carefully taken up and dissected. So I go underneath now, being very, very careful. And of course, a bandage contact lens on top is what is at the end of the surgery. So this, the lenticle comes out. Yet another patient. So sometimes you have to have really a very cooperative patient. So, so far so good. It goes off. I am usually using a two millimeter entry and just watch carefully. So the two planes identified. Patient is slightly uncooperative as I move in now. The planes, I go under the cap, watch, watch, and the patient suddenly rolls up the eye. And I have a tear. So very carefully, this almost a two millimeter tear in the cap, and I'm very carefully dissecting so that I'm able to separate the lenticule, which I am, and this beautiful hydro expression, and then separation. So very carefully, and these patients have to be watched for any kind of epithelial growth. So thank you very much for making me part of this course. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Sonogol. So